Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon Training Team. And in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can construct some smoke, a smoky thing, and then demolish it using particles. In this simplified scene, we have some extruded text. And what I'm going to do is right click on the text, go to the simulation tags and add a pyro emitter. Now, if you press play, you will see that we're going to get a huge explosion. That's not exactly what I want. What I want to do is go to the pyro emitter and uh, I am going to emit a certain amount of density only on the first frame. So let me set the density to 10. I do not want to add any more, so I'm going to set this to zero. I'm going to turn off everything else, uh, temperature, no color or anything like that. I'm going to leave velocity as it is. And I'm just going to advance to go to frame one. I'm going to add a keyframe here and then go to frame two. I'm going to disable another, another keyframe. Now you can see that the resolution is very low and that's because my text is fairly small. So let's go to our scene settings and let's go to simulation and pyro and set this to 0.5 and let's go and rewind and press play. Excellent. Now you can see that everything is going upwards. That means we need to go and change a few things over here. I want everything to be perfectly still. So let's go to the scene settings and remove any gravity. And again, let's rewind, press play. Excellent. And you can see that we are getting emission from the surface. So it's quite a bit. Let's go back to the pyro tag and make sure that we're emitting using a volume or a sparse volume. In this particular case, it doesn't make a difference. And now I'm going to make this invisible so that I can only see my pyro. The main pyro is ready. Now let's go and set up the particle. So I'm going to go to simulate and create a basic emitter, scale it down so it's much smaller, and let's pull it out and move it here to the left. If you press play, you will see that we're going to get some particles emitting. There we go. I'm going to raise it up a bit. And what I'm going to do to the basic emitter is go to the properties and uh, set my color to be a random color from a palette of uh, colors. I'm going to get the rainbow palette over here. And I'm going to go to the direction and add a bit of a spread, maybe 45 degrees. So if I rewind and press play, you will see that we're getting particles, nice colorful particles just moving through the color cloud. Now, how do we make these two things interact? Well, what I need to do is go to my particle group, which is all these little points here, right click and go and add another pyro emitter. And I do not want any temperature or any density, but I do want color. So now let's go back and press play and see what happens here. And you will see that for starters, we get the color. And at the same time, because the velocity is set to movement, the pyro that's generated by these little particles has some velocity in the direction of those particles and therefore mixes with the velocity of any pyro in our scene, therefore pushing all the static smoke that way. Now I can make this smaller, two centimeters I think is perfect. And let's go and rewind and press play. Fantastic. We're getting all these nice colors. And finally, I'm going to rewind and just advance one frame. You can see that our smoke is black. Let's just make sure we go here and we have color enabled. So we generate some white smoke to begin with. And now you'll see the smoke is white. From this point onwards, the particles are going to affect this static smoke, both in terms of velocity and in terms of color. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.